go for her and thank her for her um, empathetic, compassionate remarks. So, and we've all had friends and family that that have suffered, and um, her remarks are really appropriate. So, thank you for that, uh, Mr. President. I ask you to have consent that on my remarks that, that the vote uh, take place immediately after our, my remarks. Without objection. Thank you. I also ask uh, unanimous consent that Senator Ossoff of Georgia be added as a co-sponsor of S3076, a bill to amend the Federal Reserve Act. Without objection. And I also note, uh, not a unanimous consent request, but note that joining me on the floor today is Ben Ashman, who is um, for whom we've given consent to be on the floor as a fellow, a Senate fellow in our office for the year. Uh, I rise to urge my colleagues uh, for the upcoming vote to join me in supporting Graham Steele, the President's nominee for Assistant Secretary for Financial Institutions, Department of Treasury. Graham is my friend. Graham is a former staff member of the Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs Committee and was a stellar, or was and is a stellar public servant. I know from personal experience how ready Mr. Steele is for this job. Graham spent seven years in my personal Senate office and on the Banking and Housing Committee staff uh, when I became ranking member. He was a senior trusted aide. He worked with staff on uh, the staff of so many of my colleagues in both parties. That's why five in a, in a, in a Senate that's frankly too divided in a Senate that's too rigid in its partisanship, five Republicans on the Senate Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs Committee joined in supporting Graham Steele uh, when we voted him out of committee a month or so ago. He has, and that's because of his relationships, because of his honesty. He has extensive financial services experience, a track record of bipartisanship, a history to make our system work for everyone. He understands the far-reaching effects the financial system has on, on workers and their families. Uh, throughout his career, uh, throughout his career, Graham has forged close relationships with civil rights groups, with consumer advocates, and with organizations like the Bipartisan Ohio Bankers League, who wrote in support of his nomination. He has stood up for families, for communities, for, Wall, for Main Street businesses against Wall Street greed and corruption. He's worked across the aisle to get things done for the American people. As minority chief counsel for the Banking and Housing Committee, as my staff director of the subcommittee, on financial institutions and consumer protection. He crafted legislation, he worked with other offices, he worked with community banks, he protect, fought to protect all Americas, all Americans' finances. He worked on a broad set of issues with two Republican chair, Senator Crapo of Idaho, Senator Shelby of, of Alabama, worked with their staffs, worked with people on both sides of the aisle. He did vital work during and after the 2008 financial uh, crisis. We, as we work to stabilize our financial system and his work for our office, he traveled around Ohio in the years that followed. He talked to Ohioans who had lost their homes and saw their communities devastated by Wall Street's, and I under, underscore Wall Street's great recession. He under, I mean, Wall Street didn't experience much of the recession. Wall Street caused the recession, make that clear. He understands the importance of listening to workers. He understands how the financial industry affects their lives every day. He's put results for Americans above bipartisanship. He worked with Senator Johans, a Republican from Nebraska who's since retired. He worked with Senator Collins, a Republican from Maine, on an important fix to insurance regulations. He worked with Senator Moran of Kansas on innovative ways to encourage families to increase savings. In his current role at the Stanford Graduate School of Business, Graham researches important issues at the, at the in intersection of markets and business and government, looking at ways to promote a more accountable economy. At Treasury, Graham Steele would oversee an office that plays a pivotal role in coordinating the department's efforts in financial institution policy, community economic development, insurance and cybersecurity, and critical infrastructure protections. He would lead an office that oversees the Community Development Financial Institution Fund, CDFI. His qualifications and his experience are obvious. Graham and the staff of many of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle can attest to his commitment to service and the ability to find common ground, something that will serve him well at Treasury working with Secretary Yellen and will serve this body and our government well. I urge my colleagues to, to join me in supporting the nomination of Graham Steele. Uh, he, will serve, he will serve admirably, I am sure of that. I can think of no better person to serve in this role at this very consequential time in our nation's history. I yield the floor.